Hi everybody, it's Julie. And today we are going to be using stencils on our fabric to change it, to alter it. So this is part of the February Fabric Junk Journal Challenge 2022 here on Dear Julie Julie. And so we are taking um, fabric and altering it in five different ways at least and getting ready to make our journal for February. So today I'm going to be using this stencil from Stamperia or Stamperia. <laughs> um, I got this at Spectrum Art Creations um, last year and I it's one of my favorite stencils. I also have some metallic texture paste from Heidi Swap. This was in my um, craft stash and I want to use that up. I also have the blue paint I've been using, a palette knife, a palette knife, a um, stenciling brush, the piece of felt, and my fabric. And you see I've pulled out a couple of the fabrics that I stamped on and I've pulled out the dark blue fabric that I'm looking forward to using in my journal. So let's go ahead and I'm also going to want a three by five index card. So, um, so let's start by stenciling with the paint. So now remember, um, stenciling on fabric, you can use your ink. Um, you can use all your different things. I'm just going to show you a couple of ways. And so let's see here. So let's grab the blue. This is the blue brush. Okay. We're going to go ahead and make a stamp pad out of this sort of. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm just pressing it into the piece of felt that will hold it and I'll clean off the brush. They last longer that way. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my stencil, stenciling brush and I'm going to go ahead and open this up and I'm going to go ahead and add the stencil right here to the edge. And you'll see, see it's just a stippling brush. And we'll just go ahead and add our stippling right here on top of the stencil, straight up and down, because you don't want it to crawl underneath the edges. You won't get um, a clear image that way. Okay, so there you can see I've stenciled onto my fabric. So we're continuing to change the look of this fabric that just started out as a red and white striped piece. Okay, with that damask look. And I think I want to do it in a couple more places. I had already done it up there. Um, much lighter, though. Okay. So just stippling it on. You might have one of these brushes in your stash and might have been wondering, well, what can I use that for? Okay. Again, straight up and down. And I'm going to go ahead and since we are darker than the first time, I'm going to go ahead and just add this darker up here. Okay. Okay. So that is using the paint, making a stamp pad again, using the paint and putting that onto your fabric. Okay, um, we'll go ahead and 
wipe this brush down. Like I said, they, they last longer that way. I don't, um, as I've told you, <laughs> don't have water on my desk. So just for right now, that will clean it out. It is paint, so I do want to get it out if I can. Okay, I'm going to pull this out of the way. And we'll bring in a new one. And I'm going to go ahead, this time I'm going to add some of the metallic texture paste. And um, so this has a thick paint consistency. Um, but it's also, it will dry... Um, raised, raised up, and it will have the white, beautiful white look that I, I want. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and come over here. I'm going to grab some of that texture paste, and I'm going to bring it over, and using the, the palette knife, I'm just going to go ahead and rub it across my stencil, okay? There are other things that you can use that you might have in your stash this uh, to give it some actual texture. Um, but what I really like is that we're going to get this uh, white that is going to stand out, okay? So there, one more. Good pass across there, pull it up, and you can see that is that is what we get. Okay. And let's see. I don't want to I think we'll use this short little piece right here. Okay, you can use your blow dryer to dry this and so that it'll happen faster. Okay, and I love that it has that, that metallic look to it as well. Here. And I'm going to want to use all of it if I can. Let's see. I think we can just do this little tiny bit right here. Oop, I'm going to end up with some on the desk, but that's okay. Okay, so adding the texture paste, giving actual texture to our fabric, and we can go ahead and let that dry. Now we also have our blue piece of fabric that we um, that we worked on. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit more of this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. There gives me that. I'm going to come right here and use what I have left. Okay. 
And so putting it on and coming straight across the top of it. Okay. So we have altered again, the look of our little blue fabric here. Okay. Now, for cleaning, I want to make sure that I clean these. I'm going to use one of these underneath. Let me grab a... Because there is texture paste on the top here. And as I clean, it will go down into... The spots here possibly okay might get some of the color from the paint from when I've used this before but there I get this okay I think that that's gonna be awesome for a for a card Tag, insert for something as a background. We got paint on this one, so I'm just stacking those up up here. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I want to get what I can off of my desk as well. We're going to go ahead and change the look of this dark blue fabric that I have. Okay. So, um, this texture paste is translucent. And so you'll be able to see through it. And it is going, we're going to be able to change the look of, of our fabric. Okay. So let's go ahead and Put it down go ahead and pull it across I just want to get a I knew I wanted to change this I, I sometimes I'll just turn fabric over and use the other side um, but I didn't like that as much and so just changing it with this texture paste has this sparkly opalescent color to it. I think it's going to work well for what I am doing and it also lightens, lightens our fabric here. Okay. So just maybe a little bit more here and then I'll put some here. Okay. So, and what I was going to do is I have a few more pieces of this fabric and I, as I had got to the end of my medium, my um, texture paste, or whatever I was making with it, then I thought I could go ahead and use it on some of these blue, dark blue pieces. Okay. So there we have 
lightened it up. You can see how dark it was right there. I need to find my um, <laughs> my thing that goes underneath my mixed media. It'd be much easier to clean up. Okay. Well, there we go. Okay, so now we have changed the look of that. So that could be considered painting. And um, then we can go ahead and still add our texture paste onto here. Okay. And it will be quite the contrast because we've got the, it's still dark, even though it's, it's not as dark, it's still pretty dark, um, our fabric. You can tape your paper or your stencil down if you're worried about it lifting. <clears throat> okay, then we'll come over here. We've got this one. Okay, so that will give me three places that I've, oh, and I guess we're going to go into this one too. <laughs> Since we did, might as well. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then we can go ahead and lift this up. And again, we have the translucent texture paste there. And we'll want to wash this off. So I have this one that I, I did earlier. Okay. We have just the one piece on there. Okay. Then we have this one. Okay. So these are, this is a way of using your stencils. So we did paint and then we did texture paste. Um, that had color in it. Okay. And we did this one also. Okay. So altering our fabric with our stencil. Okay. So have you altered fabric with stencil before? You can alter, you know, paper the same way. Um, but I think it's kind of fun to be able to take something that you have and change it. So remember for this one, we went ahead and we added the blue paint. Okay. For the stencil and then we came back in with the texture paste on top of that i love it i love it which is your favorite and i love that we've been able to soften this remember i'm using the new children in the field okay so this is what i'm using for as my um my 15 Dear Julie Julie images. And so I think that this is going to work really, really well. Um, yeah, now we have been using uh, the fingernail polish. So I can go ahead and come in and add fingernail polish into where the green is, that's, that's one of the things I like to do is where the green is, I like to add the, the sparkly. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the number 544 from Dollar Tree. LA Colors. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area when you're using it. Okay. We could also add it into this fabric. Oh, I like that. I will be adding that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So today's video was stenciling on fabric. And I showed you how I stencil using paint and texture medium. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you're doing. There are a lot of great ideas already showing up in the Facebook group for this challenge. If you're interested in the challenge, the details videos in the description box down below. Watch that video. It's pretty short. I think it's 16 minutes and it tells you what to do next. And um, we'd love to have you join us. There are prizes and a party and it's lots of fun. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Oh, this is available in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop now. 50% off through the weekend. Along with all of the Valentine digitals. All the Dear Julie Julie Valentine digitals are also on sale for 50% off. Diamond and Emerald Patreons. Your coupon code is in the Patreon for 70% off. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.